So today we are looking at dividing fractions, okay, which are probably the two most feared words in math history, okay, division and fractions. So there is a very simple way of doing things, okay, um, a very simple way of dividing fractions. And I could easily show you that now, but let me show you why we're going to be doing what we're doing. So here, basic numerative things then. So 20 divided by 10 is 2, 20 divided by 5 is 4, 20 divided by 2 is 10, 20 divided by 1 is 20. Right, so let's have a look at those numbers. When we're dividing by a bigger number, our answer is smaller, okay? So if I had 20 pound, share it between 10 people, we get a two pound each. Okay, so as this number here is getting smaller, our answer is getting bigger. So then if I have 20 divided by a half, now a half is smaller than one. Okay, for our, for our answer here, it's actually 40. Okay, because dividing by a half is the same as times in by two. Okay, so we have multiplied by two. So for this one here then, 20 divided by a quarter gives us an answer of 80. Because what we've done, theoretically, we multiplied by four. So here, we had 20 multiplied by two to give 40. Here, we've had 20 multiplied by four to give us 80. So we've multiplied by this bottom number to get our answer. So here then, Following the same pattern, what would seven divided by a third be? Well, let's look at this denominator here, this bottom number. Well, here, we had to multiply by this number. So let's do the same here. Well, seven times three is 21. And that's our answer. Okay, so we're being careful with our denominator. But what about if we had a fraction divided by a fraction? Well. To get this three here, okay, what we've done, we've actually flipped the fraction, okay? We've actually found what we call the reciprocal of it. We have flipped the second fraction, seven times three is 21, okay? The reciprocal of a third is three over one, because a reciprocal is what do you times by something to make one, okay? So let's say if I had uh, four, Okay, the reciprocal of 4 would be 1 over 4 because 4 lots of this equals 1. What do I times by 4 to make 1? If I had 7, the reciprocal of 7 would be 1 over 7 because if I times these together, it gives me an answer of 1. You'll notice that the whole number just becomes a denominator with a 1 on the top. So 1 over and then the number. However, if I had a fraction of two thirds, then the reciprocal of that is three over two. Because if we multiply these, two times three is six, three times two is six, that gives us one as a whole number, okay? So a reciprocal is what you times a number by to make one. So for here then, we have to find a reciprocal of five eighths, which is eight over five. Remember, we have to multiply. First fraction stay the same, okay? For multiplying fractions, we use what we call train tracks, okay? We have to do top times top, bottom times bottom. So if I use a highlighter, just to show you, we have two times eight and then three times five. Well, two eights are 16, three fives are 15. It's top heavy or it's improper. Let's convert it to a mixed number by having one whole number, and then you notice then, I've got one fifteenth left over. Because so 15 goes into 16 once with one remaining. And I've got bottom number always stays the same. So using that then, have a practice here. You could press pause, have a go. Um, but let's go through it. I've got, got to find the reciprocal of my second fraction. Multiply. First one stays the same. One times seven is seven. 3 times 4 is 12. Can I simplify? No, I can't. 
Okay, so my steps here is to flip second fraction. Okay, and I'm going to put here reciprocal, that posh word for you. And then second step, multiply the fractions. And then the last step then would be to either convert improper to mixed number or simplify. Or even both. So with those three steps there, I've now got a fraction divided by a whole number. Now, we know now how to do this when we have two fractions. So let's try and convert that into have two fractions. Well, a four by itself is the same as four over one. Okay, if I cut the pizza into one piece, and I have four of them, I have four whole pizzas. Okay, the value of that hasn't changed. To make a whole number into a fraction, just write it over one like that. So from there, flip the second fraction, so the reciprocal, would be one over four. Second step, multiply the fractions using train tracks. Three times one is three, five times four is 20. Final step, convert or simplify. Well, three and 20 don't have any highest common factors that are greater than one, okay? So that is in its simplest form. Just remember, when we multiply the fractions, first fraction, so first fraction stays the same, stays the same. Flip the second, multiply, remember we multiply, we have to use train tracks. Have a go and hope it helps.